complete binary tree is a binary tree um, where all of the uh, possible positions on uh, uh, each level are filled with nodes. So here's a complete binary tree uh, with two levels. Uh, on uh, level 0 we have one node, on level 2 we have uh, 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 two nodes, and uh, uh, they all exist. And in general, if you have uh, uh, a complete binary tree, then the number of nodes on level L is 2 to the power of L. Uh, here's another example of a complete binary tree with three levels. Um, and uh, level 0, level 1, and uh, level 2, and uh, uh, all possible positions are filled with nodes. So 2 to the 0, uh, 1 node on level 0, 2 to the 1, 2 nodes on level 1, and 2 to the 2, 4 nodes on level uh, 4. And uh, just for the sake of completeness, uh, to make a pun of it, uh, let's draw a, a binary tree uh, which is not complete. So here's a binary tree which is not complete because it has uh, uh, one uh, node on level 0, two nodes on level 1, but uh, the rightmost uh, position, possible position on uh, uh, level 2 is not filled. Now, binary uh, heaps are complete binary trees, but um, implementation-wise, when you think of heaps, um, uh, sometimes they're called essentially complete binary trees where all of the positions on all the levels but the last one are filled and uh, the position on the last level are filled with empty nodes. So those nodes exist but they're just, um, uh, they don't have values and those values fill, uh, are filled uh, gradually going left to right. So some of the rightmost uh, uh, nodes uh, may, be, uh, may be empty. So here's, so let's say that we want to uh, build a binary tree, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a binary heap um, uh, uh, with three levels, right? So, uh, so this is, uh, so first we fill the first uh, um, uh, two levels and then uh, we are going um, and uh, filling up the, uh, uh, the third level, level number two, uh, going left to right. So uh, the leftmost position is filled, then the second leftmost position, then the uh, third leftmost position, and then the fourth level, uh, leftmost position. So, and then we're done. So we have a complete binary tree, which is, uh, which is structurally speaking, is a binary, uh, binary heap. Right, structurally speaking, because we still have to satisfy um, a certain mathematical property. The nodes have to satisfy uh, certain uh, properties. Okay, we'll uh, we'll talk about that uh, uh, in um, uh, in a second. Mm, well, in, in in a few minutes. Now, um, but before uh, before that, we um, uh, let's talk about uh, how we can linearize um, a binary tree and pack it into an array because uh, heaps are typically implemented as uh, binary trees. And uh, um, uh, a binary tree can be, a complete binary tree uh, can be packed into an array um, uh, through a level order traversal. So essentially we go level by level and uh, pack it in. Uh, so 0 and then 1, 2. So let's consider another example. So we have um, uh, node number 0, node number 1, node number 2, node number 3 over here, node number 4, node number 5. And uh, uh, we're going to uh, pack it into an array um, going level by level. So 0, then 1, 2, and then 3, 4, 5. So 0. Uh, one, two, then three, okay, four, and five. Okay, um, if um, uh, we're manipulating uh, heaps as arrays, uh, then uh, it's very important for us to uh, figure out, uh, so let's say given node number p, what's the index of the uh, left uh, left child and the right child? And the index of the left child in a zero-based array is 2p plus 1. Right, I've written 2p plus 2, it's actually 2p plus 1. And the index of the right child is 2p plus uh, 2. Uh, here's a quick example. Let's say, let's take p to be equal to 2. So I want to, okay, so we have an array. Uh, so what's the index of the left uh, child of um, uh, node number 2? 
and it's uh, 2 times 2 plus 1, it's 5, and the index of the right child is 2 times 2 plus 2, which is 6, and uh, notice that in this example it's actually outside of the um, array's boundary, so we have to uh, check on that uh, when we're implementing heaps because nodes may be um, missing uh, uh, the right child, or the left child for that matter too, because uh, implementation-wise a binary heap is an essentially complete binary tree where uh, the leaf level may not be filled uh, completely. So uh, another important question, uh, what's the index of the last parent or the rightmost um, uh, parent node or the uh, rightmost non-leaf node? And uh, if we have n uh, elements in a, in a heap, it's uh, n uh, over 2, the floor of n over 2 minus 1. So in our example, to continue with this example, we have 6 elements in a heap, so it's going to be six, um, the floor of 6 over 2, which is 3 minus 1. Uh, and it's uh, 2, right? And if you look at the tree, right, uh, so this is non, uh, non-leaf, this is non-leaf, and this is non-leaf, so 2 is the last, or the rightmost non-leaf. Um, well, it's uh, the rightmost actually uh, refers to the array position, right? Okay, so here it is. Okay, so another, so structurally speaking, uh, binary, uh, binary heaps are complete binary trees, or essentially complete binary trees, but uh, for uh, a complete binary tree to actually become a binary heap, it, it has to, every non-leaf node has to satisfy either the max heap property or the min heap property, depending on what kind of heap uh, we are building. Uh, where the smallest element is on the top or where the largest element is on the top. So if we're building a maximum heap, right, the largest element is on the top of the heap, uh, then uh, every non-leaf node has to satisfy the max, uh, the max heap property. Every non-leaf node is greater than or equal to then either child. And then if uh, the smallest element is on the top, then every non-leaf node has to satisfy the so-called minimum heap property. Every non-leaf node is less than or equal to then either child. So here's an example of a uh, maximum heap. So 10 is um, greater than 5 and greater than 7, and 5 is greater than 4 and greater than 3, and 7 is uh, greater than uh, 2. So uh, uh, so this is uh, this is a maximum uh, this is a maximum heap where uh, the maximum heap property is satisfied on every non-leaf node. Let's uh, get ourselves some uh, uh, whiteboard space. And um, let's start about uh, let's start talking about building a binary heap. So how do we turn a um, uh, uh, an array into um, a um, uh, a heap, a binary heap? So uh, let's represent uh, an array as a tree, right? They're actually equivalent representations. So the idea is to find the rightmost um, uh, non-leaf node, the position of the rightmost non-leaf node, and then uh, sift it down and find its proper place either in the uh, left subtree or uh, the right subtree of that node, and then go to the next node on the left, non-leaf node, and then sift it down, and so on, all the way down to the roof. So in terms of an array, we're going from the uh, 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 from the rightmost uh, non-leaf node all the way to the uh, to the uh, to the roof uh, uh, to the uh, sorry <laughs> to the to the root uh, all the way to the root um, and uh, uh, every node um, uh, has to be sifted down um, or possibly sifted down uh, if uh, the heap property is not satisfied. Okay, so here's an example. So you have three. Uh, 10, 9, uh, 7, 6, and 8. And let's um, uh, turn it into a maximum heap. So let's say that this is our array. Uh, so this is the uh, rightmost non-leaf node, and uh, uh, the maximum heap property is satisfied at that node. Surprise, surprise. And uh, so what's the uh, next uh, node, a non-leaf node to the, uh, to the left of it? Is It's 10. The maximum heap property is satisfied. And then we get to the root. Uh, of the uh, uh, of, of of that tree, and the maximum heap property is not satisfied, so we have to swap it with the maximum child, and it happens to be ten. The left child happens to be a maximum child, so uh, here's the complete binary tree after the swap, and we have to recurse on the newly swapped position because the maximum heap property may not be satisfied at that position, and and it's not. So and three has to be swapped with seven, the maximum child, and so we have ten, seven, nine, three, six, eight, and that's a heap. 